If you're using Copysmith, you're here for help creating great content. Let me give you a crash course on creating content and give you a few tips on what to do when your copy doesn't quite come out like you expected. Let's get to it. When you first log into Copysmith, you'll find yourself on the Create tab. This is where you'll make all your content. Copysmith is a template-based application. Think of a template as an AI-powered writing tool with each having their own function. Copysmith has over 60 templates to choose from, so be sure to familiarize yourself with all the options you have available. Quick tip, be sure to star your favorites for easy access in the Made For You section. If you don't see a template you're looking for, give the command feature a try. Just type in what you'd like to create and tell the AI a bit about it and let Copysmith work its magic. Let me show you an example. Let's say I want to write a email subject line about an upcoming Copysmith promotion. In the first section, I'm going to tell Copysmith what it is I'm wanting to write, an email subject line. And in the second section, it's what I want to write about, Copysmith Cyber Monday promotion. Once you're ready, click Get Started, and Copysmith will generate a subject line for you. If you don't like the result, just click the thumbs down icon, and it'll generate something different for you. Let's take a look inside an actual template. I'm gonna pull up our product descriptions template. Each template has its own unique set of inputs. Inputs are the information you're feeding the AI so it can get to writing. The template itself contains the basic instructions the AI uses to write, and your inputs provide context and additional direction. If you're unsure how a field should be used, hover over the info badges for a quick tip. Once you've added your inputs, click the purple generate button at the bottom, and you'll see your generations appear on the right side. You can make edits to your generations, share them with the team, or just choose to generate more if you don't see one that quite meets what you're looking for. The natural next question is often, what if I don't like my outputs? I've got four tips for you. The first is less is more. We don't wanna overwhelm the AI with too much information. In our example here with the product descriptions template, I only want to include one to three key words for my brand and two to eight characteristics about the actual product. If you're unsure how much information you should put into any particular field, look for the little info badge that'll often give you a tip. My second suggestion is to test different inputs. Copysmith and the AI are using the information you give it to write your copy. If you like the format of the copy, but not the text itself, try using different inputs. Mix it up a little bit and see if you like what it gives you. My next tip would be to tweak the length and creativity settings. In most of our templates, you're going to see an additional settings option. You can click this to expand it and you'll see a few options to tweak your creativity, your content length, and the number of generations produced each time. Give each of these a try to see if you like the outputs better. Finally, consider an alternate template. If you don't like the format or the copy that a particular template is giving you, try an alternate template instead. If you don't see one that quite meets your needs, you could try creating your own custom template. Over here on the right side under custom, you can actually create your own templates. Copysmith will lead you through the process of writing your prompt or the instructions for the AI and letting you select the inputs you'd like to choose each time you use this template. Another option is always to reach out to our support team. Just use the support widget in the lower right hand side, give us a shout and we'll help you brainstorm what it is you're looking to create. With that, I hope you enjoy creating content and happy copysmithing.